Right here, I got 2022's number one swing trainer, the Lag Shot. I'm out here at the range, We're gonna hit some shots, let you know if it helps my game and if it will help your game back at home. What's going on, guys? It's Michael, your expert caddy. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss any new videos I put out. And leave a like if you enjoy this video. If you go online, there's so many swing trainers, but this one's really interesting because this just won 2022's best swing trainer, the Lag Shot. We got a super, super bendy shaft right here, as you can tell. I mean, you can almost snap this thing in half, right? And what's super interesting is you got a real club head. So not only are you getting that whippy shaft, but you actually can hit some balls out of the range, which I'm actually excited to try and hit some balls and see if I can actually hit it straight. Not only do they have a seven iron, they have a driver and a wedge. So you get to practice all different aspects of your game. I'm gonna try all these out for you guys, let you know if it actually helps my game transitioning back and forth. They say it's supposed to help with your tempo and gain that lag. Lag's kind of that mysterious thing in golf, but essentially when you're swinging, this super bendy shaft is going to be way behind like this and then kind of snap forward at impact so you're going to kind of get that lag feeling of the club face so with that super bendy shaft we're going to try it out right now on the range i'm going to hit a couple shots for you guys i'm going to give you guys a super honest review of what i think of the lag shot we got a couple balls here first thing i'm going to do is take a couple swings kind of let you guys know what i'm feeling here first thing is it's definitely a lot heavier than a normal club i mean the club head definitely weighs a good amount all right it's definitely interesting I can feel at the top, this club is definitely bending, right? That's that super flexible shaft we got here. I got the seven iron. Okay. Hit a couple balls. I'm going to hit two shots with it. I'm going to treat this just like a normal club, except it's really bendy. So I'll put some traces on here for you guys. Let you know where they go. Okay. Well, first off, that went really right. Now I read on the website that at first, it's gonna go right, and that's just because of the super flexible shaft and the weight of the club head. Something they also say is you only wanna swing this club about 75%, because if you go 100%, it's gonna be really hard to square up, right? So we're gonna go for it again and make a better swing, focusing on that tempo, right? The whole thing about this is if you get your tempo down and have good, good rhythm through your swing, you'll be able to hit this straight. And what they say is when you transition back to your club, you're gonna make really good contact and hit a little, little draw. So we're gonna hit it one more time here. All right, that was a lot better. That felt a lot better tempo. That was good contact with the club right here. I'm gonna get my seven iron, transition back to it and let you guys know what I feel transitioning from this really whippy club to my normal seven iron. Got my seven iron right here and it feels like a feather, not gonna lie. After that really whippy thing, this thing feels so light, right? So we're gonna just go right for it, honestly. And I'll let you know what I feel. Again, really light. All right, was pretty good contact, even though I hit it a little heavy and it gave me that tight draw. Now I'm gonna hit one more, give you an accurate reading here. Try to get a little better contact. Wow, okay. Honestly, with like little effort, not even lying, feeling that same tempo that I did with the lag shot transitioning to my club was game changer. I tend to get super quick with my tempo. Tempo is one of the number one things you have to focus on with your swing. And for me, transitioning from that to this, that same feeling gave me two balls that went dead straight okay i just showed you the seven iron now we got the driver same whippy feeling again look at this thing but we have a driver head here and we can tee it up and actually hit it so i'm curious to try it out again this is really heavy like and really whippy again so we're gonna take a couple practice swings and just feels very flowy right you can just kind of dial in that tempo nice 70 percent swing and honestly feels pretty good so we're just going to go for it normal driver swing 70 percent though and then i'll hit a couple with my actual driver okay same thing with the seven iron that went right so i'm going to try to dial in that tempo a little more and hopefully straighten this one out not give up on it kind of give up on that one but tempo feel felt pretty good so we're gonna go one more here and then i'm gonna hit one with my actual driver There it is. That actually went really far. That ball probably went like 260, but that was that same tempo I got with the seven iron on my second one. Just came right through, super flowy, really easy on the back, just straight through. Gonna switch to my normal driver now 
and I'm gonna hit one and I'll let you know where it goes, give you a nice tracer and my thoughts on it. Okay, got my actual driver. Again, transitioning from the lag shot driver to this, this feels like an absolute feather, but I'm gonna try to dial in that same tempo I felt with the lag shot with my actual club. So we're gonna take a couple of practice swings and this thing feels like a feather, holy cow. Like I can just whip this thing through, but gotta feel that same tempo, that same rhythm. Gonna hit one for you guys here, let you know what I think. All right, was not the best contact there, but went relatively straight. Hit off the heel just a little bit, but my tempo there felt super nice. I mean, I'm feeling every little bit of my swing, super controlled, right? That's kind of what I think this lag shot is really, really good for. The super, super cool thing about this is that you have an actual club head. There's other swing trainers out there that are just whippy shafts. This thing's got a club head, so you hit it and you get that instant feedback. If you do want to pick yourself up a lag shot, there's a link in the description below. You get 15% off only using that link. So if you want to buy one, go through that link. For my followers only, you won't find that link anywhere else. So Lackshot sent me these clubs to give a review. So again, 15% off link in the description for my followers only, guys. So click that link, get yourself a Lackshot. And yeah, I really, really am impressed with this thing. I can understand why it's the number one swing trainer in 2022.